reputation for their program, but a group of skiers from Maguanago know it's going to be a team effort. Caitlin Sharkey goes beyond the game. Oh. Helmet. While the Maguanago ski team aims for the top, their coach George Lumens offers advice at the bottom. Sarah, so hips gotta move, right? <laughs> you gotta move inside so we get a little more direct. So coming into the gate, okay, hands and everything got to drive right so through the gate. Hips more out. Yep, hips into the turn. Lumens has led the program for over three decades, and while he coaches the skiers as individuals, he emphasizes the importance of teamwork. I think on a team you can have as many good skiers as you want, <gasps> but if they don't really care about the team and they're not invested in the team as a whole, it's not going to work because if everyone's just letting it hang out on the run all the time. Mm -hmm. They're going to fall, they're going to let the team down. So you need to think of, well, the team's ahead of me, so maybe I'll pull back a bit on this run, not ski as aggressively, so I guarantee the team will get a good place. While they race down the hill one by one, their teammates stand at the top, watching, yeah. waiting, and cheering. So all of our scores, the top four, get added up together, and then um, that is how you like place overall. You can have two people fall or two people get... Not too great of times, but they don't affect the team too much. But we still want everybody to do really good because that just makes us better overall. This year is a good example. Some of the races we only had four guys, and you need four times to finish. And so you all have to like cooperate, and you all have to understand that you all have to have like a good run and make it down, and not you know fall in DNF or make some goofy mistake. This year, the girls' ski team won conference for the very first time and then went on to finish fourth at the state meet. And as some prepare to move on from the team, they're hoping the bond shared remains. And I've learned that this team is, like, really close because I was on other sports teams before, but I've never had, like, that family feel that we have here. We want people to look at us when they see us on the hill or racing us that, oh, hey, like, this is McGuanago coming in. They're, they're really nice racers. They're not going to, like, push us around or do anything mean to us. They're going to cheer us on even though we're not on their team. Learning to be better skiers, but also team lessons that play a bigger role. It's either my coach that is there for me or my teammates that are there for me at the bottom that are just like, Abby, it's okay, like you're gonna be fine. Like you have a few bruises and some cuts now, but don't worry, it's all gonna be fine. So just like really learning that team ability to be there for people, it really helps out I think for now in life. <laughs> Proving whether you're at the top of your game or sliding down the bottom, a good teammate is always there to help you back up. In McGuanago, Caitlin Sharkey, Fox 6 Sports. By the way, the boys' varsity team finished fifth overall this season, while the girls finished on top of the Midwest High School Ski Conference.